What's up, YouTube? Hey, if you've got one of these, and one of these, and a few of these, one of these, more of this, you need one of these. If you want to add electrical gadgets to your bike, you need a power distribution module. This is a PDM60 by Row Electronics, and I'm not sponsored in any way by them. Bought this with my own money on a Black Friday sale. If you want to add and charge devices on your bike, you need a device like this. This will allow you to add electrical circuits that are fused, current limited, and programmable. So this eliminates the need for relays and extra fuses going to the gadgets that you want to charge on your bike. Connecting this is really simple. Red goes to your positive terminal of your battery. Black goes to the negative terminal in your battery. And the gray wire goes to a switch lead. And the idea behind that is this will tell the PDM when the bike is on so that devices like this GPS don't drain the battery when you turn the key off because nothing sucks worse than a dead battery. You do have the option of making each of these six circuits either switched or live all the time. Now, in my case on this bike, I don't have anything that I want to leave on all the time. So I'm going to use the USB cable to program these to be switched whenever the key turns on. And I'll show you how I attach that to the bike. On this Tiger Triumph 900, this is the Rally Pro version, they have an alarm connector back here that has an ignition lead as pin four. Now I'm not using this alarm. I think there's some aftermarket alarm you can order through Triumph that would attach into this lead and wire into the rest of the bike. I found in the schematic that this particular pin, pin four, is and is a switch lead that is on when the key is on. And that's all I need to tell the PDM to turn its circuits on. And I'm gonna attach a test light. And then I'm gonna turn the key. On off perfect now i just got to find somewhere to put this thing under the seat somewhere i can secure it that i have enough distance in the positive and negative leads to make it down to the battery i think that'll work i may have to fabricate something to hold it in there but that should do nicely i'm a little worried about these sharp edges on this bracket. Well, they're not really sharp, but they are square. And with all the vibration and movement this bike's going to have, if that gets anywhere near those wire looms, they're toast. So I'm going to round the edges of these off a bit. It is installed. PDM60 wired in. Circuit 1 feeds my GPS. The rest of the circuits right now I've just got tied off just to make sure they're not going to short out on something until I get a chance to install the rest of the stuff. But for now, it's just the GPS. So if I turn the key on, seven second delay. And then on comes the GPS. Perfect. She is all buttoned up. Power distribution module is fully wired. Well, for what I'm going to do with it today, uh, wired up the circuit two to a SAE plug that comes along the rail and up here to an SAE quick disconnect that feeds my tank bag. And in there I put a moto power USB 3 amp quick charge plug, which I will use to charge probably GoPro batteries or whatever happens to be in here that needs to be charging. One cool thing, I've got these cables that I got on Amazon that are quick disconnect, magnetic. I love these things. And I got some extra tips so I can do lightning mini USB or USB-C, which will pretty much cover everything I need to charge. That install went really well. 
it was pretty straightforward. It took me about two hours. Most of that was just figuring out what I was gonna do, planning where I was gonna put it, and figuring out what the heck is going on. That takes me a while. The next circuits that I put in will be almost trivial. I've got four circuits left, and I'm only using about 10 amps out of the total 60 amps that are available in that PDM60. Programming, it's really easy. Search up YouTube, you'll find it. There's lots of videos out there that'll teach you how to do it. Nothing left to do now, but go ride. So be careful, be safe.